Hey there everybody, it's me, Isara Productions, back in the world of Hearts of Iron 4, and today I've got another special mod for you. After my last video, someone recommended I try this mod out, and I think it's going to be a pretty interesting one indeed. But as usual, if you suffer with social interactions and girls refuse to hold your hand, make sure to hit that like button and hit the sub, because of course I upload Hearts of Iron 4 content like four times a week, so make sure you hit the sub button or else you'll miss it. What a shame that'll be. So after the last mod we played, which was the loot boxes and random focus chooser for the AI, someone actually recommended a mod that actually lets you choose which paths the AI goes down. So uh, I think we're going to have a bit of fun today and see what alt history madness we can come up with. Hey guys, welcome back to alt history productions here. And today we're going to be looking if what if I actually had any historical sources to back up my alt history claim. So when you start up the game now, you get yourself a cool options menu here where you can actually go around and change the specific theaters to how you want them to go down their focus trees. Not every single country is in there yet, but as you can see with France right here, I'm going to make them revise Versailles because boy I think that piece of paper might be just a bit too harsh on the Germans but uh, honestly it's not like the Germans were even reading the Treaty of Versailles or following any of the stipulations anyway so not entirely sure how we can revise it if they're not reading it anyway so I'm not going to show you all the options that I choose here but I'm going to try set up an interesting scenario and we'll see just how fucked up the world actually goes of course though I'm playing Britain and I don't plan on being very historical at all. So Britain, for the most part, just had a bit of a skirmish in Africa, spied on Germany by hiding in Hitler's closet. They didn't really get up to much interesting things we could say, but I think I'm going to change that this playthrough. Oh, is that a bit of a old history tingle I'm getting down below, dear viewer? Because Hungary looks like they're trying to reform a past empire and, uh... I got a bit of a fascist problem. Ah, well, Austria actually beat Hungary. Although that doesn't make them Austria-Hungary because because only Hungary can form Austria-Hungary and Austria can't form Austria-Hungary because they don't have the Austro-Hungarian focus tree, which Hungary has, which means we won't be getting to see Austria-Hungary, even though Austria-Hungary does technically exist, although it is only called Austria right now. Ah, well, we've got 50% fascist majority now in our government, which means we're going to elect a fascist party, and that's right. Harry Potter's in control of the country. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's Oswald Mosley. I just got confused because of the lightning bolt. Oh, oh, God. What, what's that overwhelming feeling I, I'm feeling in my heart and my chest? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's nationalism. It's nationalism. Fuck you, Alf London. Fuck you and your vision chip. Apples and pears! Give me the fucking hunger! My god, time is in call! Fucking blimey, mate! Oh, fucking... God save the queen! Just kidding. Patriotism is illegal in Britain. Now, isn't that beautiful? Not because of some weird old history fetish where I believe the 13 colonies should have remained part of Britain, but because they've got a shit ton of civilian factories! Unsurprisingly to no one, France went communist. So to give you a quick rundown of exactly what has happened so far, France has joined the communists for uh, at least create its own faction. The Pan-Slavic Workers Congress exists. I don't know why. Germany's Anschluss Austria, which owned Hungary, and uh, Manchuko joined the Italian faction. Best idea they've ever had. Ah, oh, hey Mexico. How's it fucking going? Oh, I think I just ruptured like five eardrums and I definitely only have two. So Germany's at war with Poland, uh, Italy's at war with France, France is allied with the Soviets and Italy's allied with Manchuko, but now they're also allied with Japan. This is a bit of a weird world war. Uh, I don't want to call you a bit stupid there, Hitler, but you've taken all of Poland but left them with this one weird shaped province. Did you just forget about it or something? Oh, that one, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting Belgium to join the common turn, honestly, but, um, Belgium joined the common turn and Germany's kind of just, just a war with everyone. Oh, well, the Germans are just pushing more people into the fucking communist faction. Thanks, Germany. That's going to be a real fun to deal with later on, isn't it? Because now Switzerland's in it. The democratic building country. 
It's apparently communist. Oh, thank God. I was almost Drew Danil there watching the AI play, but uh, Italy declared war on me. Looks like they're in a great, great place to do it. Good old great war we're going to have here in Ethiopia. Oh, would you look at that? The Germans are trying to steal my child away from me. Well, isn't just taking over Europe enough, Germany? Now you're trying to steal my child that I happen to so steal? Ah, oh, the London Conference. I think we need to adopt a policy of a lasting peace because the threat of Europe going to war is absolutely devastating. All oh, those pesky fucking Germans, they've only got to made my India declare war on my India, and now South Africa's also trying to break away from me too, even though they're trying to go fascist and I'm fascist! So I'm gonna have to take back India, which means declaring war on them, which means I'm now at war with Germany. South Africa, not really that worried about, honestly. Okay, this is a bit of a pickle. Somehow I'm now at war with China, which is, is it's in the Italian faction. Oh my fucking, god damn it, Italy, you fucking Oh shit, I just noticed what Ford when you look at that. A little country called Belgium's only gonna inform the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. That's the first time I've ever seen the AI actually form a country, I think. That's, oh, Portugal's invaded Germany. Big shout out to the Portuguese for opening up this front, but I, I, I've i got it from here, Portugal. Yeah, and surprisingly, when Germany's at war with both East and West and South and now Britain, they're not really doing that well. Meanwhile, on the Chinese front, there's another China now. Yeah, there's a China down here. The original China we're at war with. And to top it all off, a third China. Up here. There's three Chinas. Well, there may be three Chinas, but unfortunately for Germany, there's not going to be even one Germany after this. Okay, scratch that. I I, uh, I got a nice bit of land there, and I uh, d since we're doing a history playthrough here, I spread out the land a bit more. So a bit of a what if if Switzerland got some land, if Bohemia was a thing and got land, and most importantly, what if Germany was actually in Poland? What if? I completely forgot I was at war with the Italian faction, which just so happens to have Japan in, but by the looks of these invasions, I don't think it's really going to be a that much of a bother for me. I'm, just, I'm so sorry, Japan. Well, there's the Italians gone, and now we get the fun part of the piece still, where we get to decide which China gets what. Which China will be supreme? Okay, I, I couldn't I couldn't pick one, just one, all right? I, I, I love all my children equally. Therefore, there are now four different Chinas. We got the ex-communist Chinese. We got the normal Chinese. We got the Guanzi clique down here who are also now claim to be China. We also got Manchuko up there, which are kind of China, kind of not though. Oh shit, the communists are just defining me and <laughs> their faction is, it's quite fucking big and I don't think I'm ready for that front. Oh yeah, they declared war on me and their faction's really big and my army's quite small, but it's quite professional at the same time. I, 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 I need more troops. Okay, so I pulled out of Belarusia because uh, they invaded Denmark and cut me off, unfortunately. So I, I've pulled back to Italy and now Spain's in the faction too. And uh, we're, we're managing to hold them off for now, although there are absolutely fucking hundreds of them. Ah, well, the United States joins the Australian Defense Initiative. I've got a bit of bad news for you there. America doesn't exist and you're supposed to be my fucking colony. Austra they left my faction. Why do my children hate me? So it doesn't really matter if the AI has hundreds of infantry divisions that are incredibly shit because I have incredibly good medium tank divisions which are going to absolutely fuck them over. Oh, under this radar is a delicious little snack for afternoon tea. So yeah, I'm beating the shit out of the communists right now even though that most of them aren't even fucking communists. It's going pretty good. Oh, big news! Germany has finally found out Poland still survives in this weird little province. Bravo, Hitler! Brav fucking o. All of my children hate me, but New Zealand, New Zealand has navally invaded France and they're actually doing the fucking work. My child! Yeesh, imagine your army having their last stand in <laughs> Copenhagen. <laughs> oh. And last but not least, it's time to take out the root cause of this cancer across Europe. Not you, Hitler. You're you're already dead. Kind of. I don't know how what you're doing, honestly. How's Poland? 
So yeah, there we go. That was a pretty interesting game. Definitely different from all the other ones I've done so far. It was uh, it was definitely more interesting with the factions that formed. Of course, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like, hit the sub button. Go ahead and leave me a suggestion of other countries or all the history scenarios you'd like to see. And I'll, I'll read over the comments and let you know if I like any of them and maybe I'll do a video on them. But of course, until next time, guys, I'll catch you. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. Maybe the day after that.